Hi everyone, Ovidiu Ponoran here, Product Manager at UiPath. Today I'm going to show you how to use in practice the Citrix Activities Package created by UiPath recently. After installing UiPath.Citrix.Activities Package, you will see the Activities display under Server Virtualization Citrix. For today, I'm going to show you a UiPath process that contains two workflows exemplifying how to provision new virtual machines and how to power off the ones that are not required to be on at a specific time to save power compute resources. The first workflow, it's called Create Virtual Machines and it creates three virtual machines based on a template. Two of them have the tag not always on and the last one is tagged with always on. The second workflow powers off all running virtual machines tagged with not always on. Let's look at these workflows. The first one is create virtual machines. First, I use a Citrix scope activity in order to connect to Citrix hypervisor server and to provide the scope for the other Citrix activities. Then, I need to obtain the virtual machine template that will be used to create all three virtual machines later. Then I pick a create VM from template activity and I pass to it the VM template obtained in the previous step. After the virtual machine is being created, I add a tag to it. For the first virtual machine, I add the tag not always on. Then I repeat the same sequence of activities for the other two virtual machine. The second workflow, obtain the VM, the virtual machines, which have the tag not always on. And then for each virtual machine in this list, it powers it off. To run this process, it will take around eight minutes. So I'll just show you the result in Zen Center. So the mach machines created with this process are the ones prefixed with demo two. So I have two of them powered off because they have the tag not always on. And one of them remain active because the tag is always on. I hope you really enjoyed this workflow, which is very useful for green computing and to save power and compute resources. This process can be run, for example, each evening in order to power off all the virtual machines which are not needed anymore to be active during the night. And you can have a similar workflow which powers on these machines in the morning to save power and to save resources. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.